Charles Darwin, the famous scientist that rode the HMS Beagle around the world and developed the theory of evolution, had daddy issues. His father Robert Darwin really wanted him to become a doctor. So one day, Robert told Charles, I'm sending you to the University of Edinburgh Medical School, the best med school in all the UK, so you can become a doctor, just like me. Your brother is already studying there. You'll love it. Uh, okay, Dad, if you really think that's a good idea and not a complete waste of my time. Sure enough, when Charles got there, he thought, Medical lectures are so boring and surgery is stressful. I'm not interested and I'm not going to study very hard. Instead, I think I'll join the natural history group here and maybe volunteer with the specimen collections at the University Museum. Robert soon caught wind of his son's poor study habits. And he wasn't too pleased, so he told him, Since you won't study hard to become a doctor, I'm sending you to Christ College at Cambridge to become a priest. No. And when Charles got to Christ College, he thought, Well, I'm definitely not becoming a priest. That's another dumb idea. But they offer some pretty cool classes here. He took a botany class taught by Professor John Stevens Henslow, and Charles loved his class. So this plant, by the look of these blades here, is of the genus Grassiferous? Gosh, Charles, you're really smart. I'm going to keep that in mind going forward. Charles graduated, and when he returned home, he found a letter from John Stevens Henslow. I'm recommending you as a naturalist for the ship HMS Beagle, which will be used as a research vessel to map the oceans and coasts. They say it's going to be a two-year expedition, but it's going to have major delays in last five years. Shh, don't tell anyone. Whoa. Robert thought it was a waste of time. Charles, this whole HMS Beagle thing is a complete waste of time. You can still become a doctor and actually do something with your life, you know. But luckily, Robert's brother-in-law showed up to tell him, You better let the boy go and pay for his expedition. It sounds like a pretty unreal opportunity to me. And I have this crazy hunch that getting Charles on this ship might be the key to unlocking one of the most important scientific theories known to man. Well, that sounds pretty rad. Okay, I'm convinced. You can go, Charles. And since I'm stinking rich, here's a bunch of cash to fund your expedition. Boom! Charles Darwin was on his way to the HMS Beagle.